this is the dna this double helix structure is the fundamental basis of all life and it carries our genetic code this animation shows the dna molecule interacting with charged particles and you can see that the dna molecule is actually oscillating and vibrating as it is under the influence of these charged particles in today's question we will see a situation in which the dna molecule is stretched due to charges appearing on it the problem goes like this a molecule of dna is l0 is equal to 2.17 micrometers long the ends of the molecule become singly ionized negative on one end positive on the other the helical molecule acts like a spring and compresses eta person that is given to be 1% upon becoming charged determine the effective spring constant of the molecule make suitable approximations i suggest you pause this video and try to do it on your own it is not a difficult question but the situation is definitely very novel this is the answer to the question the effective spring constant comes out to be 2.25 into 10 power minus 9 newton per meter it is apparent from the conditions given in the problem that the dna molecule is to be modeled as a spring the two black balls show the ends of the dna molecule and they are charged with plus c and minus c remember in the question it was given that the ends become singly ionized that is one electron is taken from one end and one electron is given to one end so the charges are plus c and minus c and its natural length of the spring is l not which is 2.17 micrometers which was given in the question now these two charges plus e and minus e will attract each other they will start attracting each other and therefore this will cause this effective spring to compress and the molecule compresses under the action of these electrostatic forces this figure shows the situation in which an equilibrium compression has been attained here you can see that the electrostatic forces are fe these are attractive in nature and due to the compression the molecule acts like a spring and it gives spring force kx like this here x is the compression and therefore now the length of the spring is l0 minus x now how much is the compression the compression was given to be eta percent of l0 and therefore the new length of the spring will be l0 minus x which is l0 into 1 minus eta by 100 so to find the effective spring constant at equilibrium these two forces kx and fe should become equal to each other that is kx is equal to the force will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught e squared divided by the distance squared now you can immediately put the value of x and if you simplify this is the expression for k that you get this is the effective spring constant of the molecule and if you substitute the values the answer comes out to 2.25 into 10 power minus 9 newton per meter the question was not a very difficult one yet the situation was a very novel one and this shows that electric forces are not only involved in wires coils and things like that but also in the fundamental building blocks of life electric forces are present everywhere in nature in fact electromagnetic forces are present everywhere in nature they are responsible for a wide variety of natural phenomenon which may not appear at the surface to involve charges at all our whole human body is an electrical system in which there are charges and there are enormous electromagnetic forces that are continuously operating inside our bodies also I hope you like this question. If you learned something from this, like, subscribe and share widely amongst your friends. And as always, till the next video, stay safe and stay healthy all.